Every day, crowds of tourists look at the Sphinx with bewilderment and admiration. But none of them suspect that it might be keeping a secret that local archaeologists don't even dare to approach. In the 1940s, American psychic Edgar Cayce announced to the world that underneath the paws of the Sphinx lies a special sealed chamber containing the records of Atlantis. Esoterics call this room the Hall of Records. They even have an expression for when people will gain access to the vault underneath the Sphinx, when the Sphinx will talk. The so-called Sphinx Vault is rumored to hold not only the original manuscripts from Atlantis, but documents about a 50,000-year-old galactic experiment known as Egypt. Robert Schock and John West do not like to comment on these esoteric stories and expectations, but nevertheless, their very non-esoteric seismic equipment clearly showed that there really is a chamber located beneath the left paw of the Sphinx. We found what I believe is a chamber or cavity or void essentially under the left paw and extending a bit in front of it, um, several meters deep, um, fairly large, but it seems very clear from the seismic work, some kind of cavity, very rectangular, very regular. The chamber itself seems to be there under about five meters of bedrock. Now, in theory, it shouldn't be too difficult to, dig, to drill a little hole and put one of those fiber optic ca cameras down there. However, it's certainly under the water, the table, the water table level. So if there is indeed a chamber there, it will be filled with water and a, a little optical camera won't do the trick. So, if the data from the seismographic equipment is to be trusted, there is a chamber measuring 12 by 15 meters at the depth of a two-story building below the surface. But even if proven that it's dry, nobody would let anyone drill into the bedrock so close to a famous monument. Zai Hawass is in no hurry to even theoretically acknowledge the possibility of the existence of a secret chamber beneath the paws of the Sphinx. When you find uh, a crack on the, or on the diagrams of the uh, radar, in the mind of a new age person, it's a room or a tunnel. But scientifically, it could be natural crack on the bedrock that shows this kind of things. And this is why uh, I don't really think there is anything is hidden behind the Sphinx. The quest for the mysterious chamber containing the records of Atlantis is directly related to the debate about the age of the Sphinx. John West is certain there is a connection and is planning to bring an impressive geological committee to the Giza Plateau and dissolve all doubts that the Sphinx of Egypt is thousands of years older than believed. I mean, they resist the theory, the water weathering theory in the first place, which we hope to substantiate fairly shortly in an in incontrover incontrovertible fashion. And if that happens, at some point, they'll get interested in looking deeper into this matter of a, of a chamber under the paws of the Sphinx. But for our purposes, that is not the main concern. Great if it turns out that way, but for us, getting the changing history around is what we're really after. Establishing the age of the Sphinx and finding the contents of the chamber underneath its paws can change our understanding of human history. That is, if it survived the underground water and if archaeologists managed to find the entrance to this mysterious Hall of Records. One way to get into this chamber might be not going straight down, but to do excavations to the east there's indications we found seismically that there's essentially a cliff there, and I believe there may in fact be a passage or opening in that cliff that will